I would like to welcome all of you grade 11s. Welcome to this new topic budgets. Okay, the first item that we are looking at today on budgets is the data collection schedule. Okay, the data collection schedule. Okay, fine. Let's look at the requirements. Okay, make use of the information provided below to draw up the data collection period for the three months period 1 January 2021 to 31 March 2021. So this is our period okay and then we are also given information from the month of november up to the month of march some of the information is for the actual sales some of it is for the budgeted sales okay we are also given the terms that are actually used to collect money from debtors okay debtors collection schedule remember in order for us to have debtors we need credit sales okay if you look at the information that is given here they said not Cash sales is 40% of the total sales. So to mean that the information that we are given from November up to March, these are total sales. So in order for us now to do our data collection schedule, we need to first of all calculate the credit sales. So if 40% is cash, what percentage is it that makes up the credit sales? It simply means it's 60%, is it? So it means in each and every month from November up to March, the first thing that you do is to multiply by 60% so that you can get your credit sales. For it's only the credit sales that gives you data. Okay, so we are going to start to do our data collection schedule. The reason why we are doing this schedule it is because we want to find out from all these months, from all the transactions that took place from November up to March, how much money are we going to receive in our budget period, which is running from uh, the month of January to March? Okay, fine. This is our template, the template that we are going to be using. Okay, in data collection schedule. We have for the month, the credit sales and the terms, the collection period. They said it's from January. Okay, so it means we've got February and then we also have got March. So this is our collection period, January up to March. Okay, the months we are given from November, you start even with the amounts for the actual sales that are given there up to the last month that is given. It depends with whatever that is going to be collected within your budget period. Okay, fine. We are going to start our calculation. Remember, when you are doing the data collection schedule, you need your credit sales and you need the terms of credit for you to be able to make the data collection schedule. Okay, fine. So we are going to start from the month of November. When you look at the month of November, we are given 60,000. 60,000, these are total sales for the month of November. Remember, we said 40% is, uh, is cash. So it means 60% of that is supposed to be credit. Okay, so the month, I'll indicate here, November. Okay, the credit sales, I said we are going to say 60% multiply by the 60,000, which is given there. Okay, 60% of 60,000, we are going to remain with something like 36,000. So 36,000 are our credit sales, okay? And then the terms of credit that are given, let's go back to the terms. 60% of the debtors pay one month after the date of sale, 20% two months after, 15% three months after the date of the sale. And 5% is considered to be irrecoverable or is bad debts. Okay, fine. So... If we look at the transaction that took place in the month of November, we can see that, okay, fine, the 60% amount, the 60% is going to be collected one month after November, which will be in December, okay? And then two months from November, we're going to be in January, and 20% is supposed to be collected. So January, year. do we have January on our, January on our collection period? Yes, we do. So it means we are going to calculate 20% of 36,000, which is going to be received in the month of January. Okay, let's go to our calculators. If we say 20% of 36,000, we are going to get something like 7,200, which is going to be collected in the month of January. Okay, and then after the 20%, 15% is also supposed to be collected. Okay, so from November, now we are saying, okay, fine, uh, three months from November, we are actually going to be in the month of February, okay? We are going to be in the month of February. 
So 15% is supposed to be co collected in the month of February. 15% of 36,000, it is going to give us something like 5,400. 5, so 5,400 will be collected in the month of February. So we are done. The moment we do the calculation for the 15%, which is the last collection, we are done with that particular month. Now we have to move on to the month that is following November. Okay, let me just close off here. Okay. So now we move on to the month of December. Let's identify the uh, the sales that are given for December. December is saving 80,000. So we are going to say 60%. The first thing is to calculate the 60%. Remember, we need the credit sales of 80,000. Okay, 60% of 80,000. It is going to give us something like 48. 48,000 are our credit sales okay so we use the same policy that we used in the month of november again on december 60 percent is supposed to be collected after one month from december after one month from december we are going to be in january so to mean we are going to do the calculation for the 60 percent 60 percent of the credit sales the 48,000. 60 percent of 48,000. it's actually going to give us something like 28,800 28,800, which is going to be received in the month of January after one month. And then the terms go on to say 20% two months after two months. Two months from December, we are going to be in February. So what percentage is supposed to be received? 20%. 20% 20 of 48,000, we are also going to get something like 9,600. 9,600, okay? Three months from December, we are going to be in the month of March. And we are supposed to collect 15%, okay, in the month of March. 15% of 48,000, it will give us something like 7,200, okay. The moment we do the 15% calculation, we are done with that particular month. Now we move on to the following month. Now we're in the month of January, okay. January 60% first, 60% of the total sales that are given for January is 50,000. 60% times 50,000, it will give us something like 30,000, are our credit sales. So we apply again the same terms. 60%, okay, one month from January, we are going to be in the month of February. And February is there within our budget period. So we are supposed to collect 60%. 60% in the month of February. 60% of 30,000. 60% 60 of uh, 30,000, we are going to have something like 18,000. So 18,000 is going to be collected in the month of February, okay? 18,000, okay? And then uh, two months from January, we are going to be in the month of March. We do have March, so we are also supposed to collect 20% from the January transaction. So it's going to be in the month of March. 20% 20 of 30,000, 20% of 30,000, we are going to have something like uh, 6,000, okay? 6,000, which is going to be collected in the month of uh, March, okay? What about the 15%? 15%, three months from January, we are going to be in April. Do we have April on our budget period? We do not have. Anything that is not within our budget period, we do not record it, okay? So we are going to end in the month of March, okay? I mean, in the collection that we are going to do in March, which is two months from January, okay? So we are done on this part. We are moving on now to the month of February. Okay, February, the first thing again, 60% times the credit sales that are given for, I mean, the total sales is 52,000. 52,000, okay, multiplied by 60%, we are going to have something like 31,200. These are our credit sales. And then one month from February, we're going to be in March, we are supposed to calculate 60%, which is going to be collected in the month of March. 60% of 31,200 is going to be 18,720, which is going to be collected in the month of March. 18,720. Okay. One month, I mean, two months from February, we are going to be in April. Okay. And then we do not have April on our budget period. So to mean that from the February transaction, we are only going to collect 60% within our budget period, the money which is going to be collect, we expect to collect in the month of March. Okay, so we are done with the month of February, okay? 
and then if we look at the credit sales that are given for the month of march one month from march we are going to be in april so there isn't anything that took place in march that we are going to collect within our budget period because our budget period says we collect one month after the date of sale one month after the date of sale of march we are going to be in april so there is no need for there is no need for us to look at the month of march so now it simply means now we can actually now look at the receipts from debtors okay the receipts the receipts from debtors the receipts from debtors okay we can safely calculate our totals 7200 plus 6000 plus 18720 is going to give us something like 31920 and then 5400 plus 9600 plus 18000 is going to give us something like 33000 okay and then 7200 plus 28800 is going to give us something like uh, 36000 36000 okay so these are our receipts from the debtors these are the amount that we record in the cash budget for money that was that we are expecting to receive from what from the debtors receipts from debtors these are the totals so you add in each and every column according to the budget period that we are looking at our budget period is from january up to march this is how we do a data collection schedule learners do not forget to like this video those who have not subscribed yet make sure that you subscribe okay click on the notification button so that next time when we add another video you'll be the first one to see it thank you